Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Real Juicy Detox. Welcome to my lounge and my rebounding room and my TV room. Welcome, welcome to the Real Juicy Detox. I am Burns. I am your certified detox specialist. And every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we get on our rebounder together to get our detox amplified, to help our body heal itself, to unlock that inner world of health and vitality that resides within each of us so that we can live our healthiest, best life. So if that is something that you are interested in, awesome, you're in the right place. Stick around, we're gonna have some fun today. So during these detox bouncing classes, I bounce on my rebounder. I'm on a 38 inch rebounder right here. Really easy to just move your body first thing in the morning, get all three energy flows in the body going. Our blood flow, our lymphatic flow, our nervous system flow, our nerve flow. So we get all of those three energy flows going in the body really, really gently. You actually don't even have to bounce as much as I am doing here. You can just keep both of your feet right on the trampoline and you can just bounce. Just gently, gently bounce. It does not have to be crazy exerting. Oh my goodness, look at how many of us are in class already this morning. We are on a roll. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, my lovely friend. Hello, 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 Jennifer. I love you so much. I love you, I love you. How is everybody doing this morning? Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> That's how we are doing. We are doing very well. We are bouncing. We are giving ourselves a, something beautiful that only we can do for ourselves. We're getting our bodies moving. We are appreciating the fact that we can get out of bed and that we can do something like this because you know, there are a lot of people who can't. There are a lot of people who are really suffering who just literally can't even get out of bed. So we take advantage of every single opportunity that we have to be and feel more blessed in our lives. And if you cannot get out of bed, still watch, follow along, be a part of the class because we can get you out of bed, baby. Yes, we can. Amazingly, we can heal everything that we have done to ourselves with our, with our choices. And unfortunately, believe it or not, everything that has happened in our bodies unknowingly or knowingly, we have, we have exacerbated it. We have done it, a lot of it to ourselves. So we can, take, we can take our power back. We can take our health back. We can, we can do this. We can heal the body. We can do it. Good morning, Cynthia. Oh my goodness, Cynthia, you're new. You're new. Welcome to class, babe. I'm so glad that you are here. I love your profile picture, by the way. Really cool. Darcy, good morning, Darcy. How are you? Are you having a good morning? You're over here on this platform too. Lovely. Good morning, Wanda. How are you doing? Ah, hope you're feeling more rested today. I feel great today. Yesterday was another day. I felt really well rested yesterday, although uh, I will admit by the end of the day, by our evening class, by our 8 p.m. class, I was a little bit tired. I'm not gonna lie. By about 6.30 every night, I think, oh my God, I just wanna go to bed now. Why, why do I have this 8 p.m. class scheduled? And then I think maybe I should schedule it for 7 p.m. 7 p.m. so that I can be in bed by eight, which I might actually start doing because, you know, after teaching five or six hours during the day, and still after in between all of that, also coaching people one on one by seven o'clock, I'm ready for bed, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready for bed. I'm ready for bed, but I, yes, I am feeling very relaxed and very well rested. Had a beautiful meditation this morning, and uh, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm already living the day. I've, I've already in my head gone to the Chinese grocery store. I've already picked up some jicama. I want to experiment with some jicama, y'all. I want. I saw somebody mention um, 
Well, I've seen Marcus and Kara. I've seen Marcus and Kara on that healthy, the healthy life use jicama for their wraps. I've seen them use jicama for their raviolis. And somebody was making, oh, raw advantage, Chris. He was making uh, sushi with cauliflower. And listen, I, I have nothing against cauliflower, except that I don't like it. <laughs> except that I have issues with it, you know? When I, when I wanna have something to substitute like rice for a sushi roll, I don't wanna feel like I'm eating cauliflower. No, I can't. I, I mean, I can't. I, I have a whole cauliflower. Every few weeks, I will buy a cauliflower and I will be ambitious in the grocery store and I'll be like, this is the, this is the day. This is the week that I'm gonna do the cauliflower. And it, it ends up being going in the recycling in the uh, compost bin. <sighs> so I saw Chris, he was mentioning that you can use jicama in place of the cauliflower. And I love jicama. I don't eat it enough. I, I, I rarely buy it, but I enjoy the flavor of it. I like the crispness and anyhow. So I'm gonna to go to the Chinese market today and I'm going to pick up, remember when I took you guys uh, a week ago maybe shopping there? They had jicamas that were like the size of my head. They were huge. So I've already gone to the, gro the Chinese grocery store and come back already. I've already done that in a sushi roll. Don't know if I'm gonna make a sushi roll today. Maybe I will. Do you guys want me to make raw vegan sushi without any rice? So yeah, I am, uh, I am well rested. I'm raring to go. Good morning, Rockstar Ruiz is here. Keep bouncing if you're bouncing with me. <laughs> uh, yes, you said you needed to go to bed, get to bed early. Yeah, I always feel like I need to get to bed early. I'm not gonna lie. Good morning, can't wait to make the ice cream. The ice cream. <gasps> You guys, if you did not see the ice cream in the last uh, last night's class, the night before that was when I made it, and yesterday during class, I finished it up during our noon class. Oh my God, it is so good. You have to make it. Yes, I like to go to bed early and get up early. Yeah, I find, hey there, Dirk. I mean, Dick. Hello, Dick Dillinger. How are you, my friend? So glad to see you on here. Oh my goodness. So good that you are here. Uh, yeah, Jennifer likes to go to bed between 8 or 9 p.m. What is jicama? Jicama is actually spelled with a J. J-I-C-A-M-A. -A. It's, a, it's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. It's white. It's a, it's almost has the texture of a... Uh, have you ever had an Asian pear? You know, that cross between a pear and a really hard apple. It's kind of like that, but it's not sweet. It's kind of mild and neutral. Uh, it does have a lovely flavor to it. I can't really, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, uh, it's beautiful. Hickama chips, Chris, go, to go with your burgers. Yes, I can put them in the dehydrator, right? Y'all, uh, and I'm going to bring you with me when I go shopping this morning after class to come with me i will take you on the instagram and facebook stories i know guys i've been hearing so much stuff about privacy issues with i mean we've we've been hearing about these privacy issues on both of these platforms for a while but yeah i know okay whatever uh, that's where I'm, that's where i'm that's where i'm sharing it with you guys okay so if you're on either of those platforms uh come along for the ride Jennifer says, I like cauliflower raw dipped in barbecue sauce or avocado. Mm. Kathy says, I'm the same way with the cauliflower. I know. I know. I don't know what it is. I just like, ah. And Alana, Alana had made one of our amazing uh, original members here, had made um, uh, cauliflower uh, uh, buffalo bites, like little cauliflower wings. Swears that it doesn't taste like cauliflower. One day I will, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try some. I don't know. See, I get ambitious and then I buy the damn cauliflower and it's like, uh, <laughs> I need to get over it. I need to get over it. I need to try. I need to try it. Not sure about uh, rice cauli. Kara says, put the cauliflower in the dehydrator. Yeah, I've done that too. I, I, I just don't like it for 20 some people say freeze it, but it's the taste. I don't know. Mine and the, my, and the smell, 
mind and the, for 20 minutes and the smell goes. I don't buy that. I've tried that and it doesn't go for me. Look forward to you prepping the jicama. Me too. Really, Chris. Mmm, yeah. Crisps or chips. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. So I'm already, I'm already that far down the road in my day. I've already gone to the grocery store. I've already come back. Oh my God. Yeah, but anyhow, anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing today. That's what I'm going to be doing today after I get my bounce on. You can cut jicama into slice into sticks, toss with a splash of lemon juice and sprinkle with chili powder or a tahine for jicama fries. Ooh, that sounds good too, Julia. That sounds so good. I, I remember once I had bought this jicama and it blew my mind. This was like, mm, this was just my vegetarian date. So I want to say like 30 years ago. I know, I don't even look like I'm 30. I know, I know. Third, I'm 55, by the way. I'm, I'm 55. Not too shabby for 55, let me tell you. By the way, this is my makeup face with it. My makeup less face, my wake up face. This is my wake up face. Um, I, but 30 years ago, I had an experience with jicama that I don't know why I haven't had more said experiences, but it was so incredibly delicious. It was like, what? And I think after that, I tried to find, it's like jicama is a funny thing. I can find it sometimes and other times I can't find it. And then when I buy it, it doesn't have the same. It's never like that first time when you have something and it's like, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah. So here in the Real Juicy Detox, even when we're rebounding, we're still talking about all of the delicious food that we get to enjoy. Because when you do focus on food, living food, oh my God, your whole uh, repertoire of things to enjoy just completely expands. Like when I used to be a meat eater and focus a lot on meat and potatoes and bread and pasta, my repertoire was really narrow, right? Even though I ate a lot of great stuff and cooked a lot of fabulous dishes, oh my God, listen, I could whip, whip up a pasta from scratch that would make you think you were in Italy, okay? Never been to Italy. But I've had friends who were from Italy and I've had and enjoyed their pasta. And my, my pasta compares to that, man. My bread, homemade bread, holy moly. Oh my God. Twice, every other day, three, four, two, two to three times a week, I would make fresh bread. Right? All kinds of bread. But since I became raw vegan, which is really weird to say, I'm not going to lie because it's weird, right? That's what I thought anyhow, when my sister said, before I started this juicing, she was like, we should do raw vegan, right? I was like, raw vegan, Pfft, are you crazy? Those people are weird. Those people are fanatical. Raw vegan, ugh, ugh. I don't like vegetables. I can't do that. I can't digest vegetables. That was my, that was my story. Oh my God. So everybody who's out there who says, I can't have fruit. I can't digest fruit. Oh my God. It gets cuts of all the other stuff that you're eating. And it's because you need to repair a little bit of what's going on on your, in your digestive system. But open, be open to it. Give it a chance. Like I never thought I would be raw vegan. Mind blown. And here I am. You can also cut jicama discs and use the disc for a base for a tostada. I'm a raw vegan chef and I use jicama lots. Oh my God, Julia, thank you so much. I did not know you were a raw vegan chef. That is so cool. That is so cool. I'm gonna have to follow you on, the, let me take a screenshot of that. I take screenshots of comments that I want to remember and go back and reference to. So yeah, I've. Uh, that's one of the things that I saw Kara doing, slice it really thin. And they, this one that I saw was like this big. Julia, it was huge. And they had like tons of them. So I'm going to go get some. Uh, what do you use to slice your jicama if they're really, really huge? Like I don't think my, my um, what is it called? My mandolin goes that big. Do you just slice it by hand? 
I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, you guys. Good morning, Amy. Amy says, good morning, all. Good morning, babe. How are you? How was your sleep? Did you sleep well? Julia, how long have you been a, a raw vegan chef? So cool. So, so cool. On Instagram at give thanks raw. Oh, I love your, your Insta name. All right, guys, go and check out Julia on Instagram at uh, give thanks raw. I started juicing already and noon class is tempting me, babe, but I'll be here for mornings and definitely be back in the first of the year. Yeah, girl. I know. I know. I hear you. Slept great. Good. That is where knife skills come in handy. Yeah, no kidding, right? Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Yeah, that's where knife skills come in handy. I'm pretty good with my knife skills. I mean, I'm not no professional chef or anything, but I can cut a few things up. <laughs> I can cut you up. I will cut you, pick them up with my knife. But yeah. So at The Real Juicy Detox, again, we talk about all things to help our bodies heal, to help our bodies detox, to give our bodies every opportunity to have the right environment for the body to do the healing work. I'm not healing you. <laughs> I'm simply providing, uh, I'm providing you the tools for you to put stuff in your body and to do things with your body like rebounding so that you can heal yourself, so that your body can heal itself. You're just providing the right environment. You're just providing the right environment. Good morning, Kristen. How are you doing, babe? I hope you are doing well. We're having some, I don't know what kind of citrus juice this was. I had just, it's grapefruit, orange, some clementine. So it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, so we do small positive actions every single day to keep our bodies healthy, to get our bodies clean and detoxified. Rebounding is one of those things that really, really helps because it allows the cellular waste to flow into the lymphatic system much easier. What's the lymphatic system? Well, <clears throat> it is the fluid that surrounds every single cell in the body. In addition to the blood flow, which surrounds every single cell, it goes to every single cell in the body, but it only makes up 20% of the fluid around every single cell. The other 80% is fluid that is attached to the lymphatic system. And that is where our cells poop out their waste material. So every single cell has waste created when it goes through its natural processes, metabolic processes. So there's waste inside the cell that's called intracellular waste. And the cell wants to get rid of that, right? It wants to poop it out because you can't have metabolic waste, acids in your cell or your cell is gonna die, right? So what it does is it poops it out. Hey, raw vegan niece. Hi, babe, how are you? What, that, what each cell does, it has to poop it out. It has to push it out, push that metabolic waste out into the sewer system. So the blood is like the kitchen. That's where we get all the nutrients. And the, the sewer system is the lymphatic system. But what happens often, because of our high protein diet, and because we are taking in all kinds of food that leave an acid residue in the body once they are metabolized, and it doesn't matter how something tastes, like you might say, oh, well, that's acidic burns. No, it's not. It might taste like that because of the flavonoids in it, which actually help it. The more, the more sour or the more acid a uh, food tastes, the more pulling and astringent it's going to be. It, when we talk about acid and alkaline food, it has to do with what is left behind after that has been metabolized or processed in the body. Fruits leave behind an alkaline residue and all other fruits, vegetables leave behind an alkaline residue and everything else leaves behind an acid residue. Yeah, all the meat, all the structured protein in the form of flesh, including fish, including all chicken, including all beef, 
all, all meat, even if it's farm friendly raised, even if it's organic and grass fed, even if it's slept in a feather bed in the barn, it's the same thing. It's structured protein that leaves behind an acid residue in the body after it's been metabolized. And what happens to this acid residue? Well, it resides in the cells, it resides all in the, in the, in the entire body, and it's stuck in the lymphatic system, the sewer system, unless and until we can open up our kidneys to get it to flush out in through our urine. Another way that it can be released in the body is through the skin. So if your kidneys are shut down, it's gonna come out through the skin. So any of you that have any kind of skin issues, you have acne, you have eczema, you have any kind of rashes, pimples, boils, you have any discoloration, melasma in the skin, all of that, dark circles under your eyes, right? That is all a sign that your kidneys are shut down and they're not filtering the way that they need to and they're not removing the metabolic waste from around every single cell all the way through our bodies, all the way through our bodies, right? So we have to do whatever we can to get the kidneys to open up, right? And that is mainly through diet, mainly through diet. I say mainly through diet because you can really transform your body completely on diet. You don't have to do herbal support, but to amplify and help the body along, that's what the herbs are here for. It's another plant matter that has the consciousness and the awareness of that plant. And each plant, each herb on this planet was put here so that we can use it to heal the body naturally, natural healing. So rebounding, good morning, raw vegan niece. So good to see you here, beautiful. So every time we do rebounding, it helps open up the flaps in our, in our sewage pipes. It helps open up, that's the access point for all of this metabolic waste to come in from the cells and to get into that sewer system, right? Think of these flaps opening up like this all along all of the pipes in your sewage system and it's opening these flaps up that helps the cells that helps the larger particles from the metabolic waste from around all the cells to enter into the lymphatic system and then to be ushered and flushed out of the body through the kidneys so when you do any kind of rebounding of course you want your you want your kidneys to be filtering somewhat but honestly if you do this gently it will help encourage everything along so don't be afraid of rebounding. It's really gentle. It helps get not only your lymphatic system uh, flowing, but it also helps get your cardiovascular system flowing, right? The blood flow. It helps get the, uh, the nerve flow going, which is why I think I have so much energy and so much clarity of thought when I, uh, since I really started doing the rebounding. I mean, it was getting pretty good anyhow, the energy, the clarity, the brain fog was done, was gone once I started to do this beautiful program. Hey Siri, how many days has it been since June 1st? It was 212, 212 days ago is when I started this journey with this juicing and everything. So, I mean, rebounding in the last 60 some days has really, really amplified things off to an ultrasound appointment for my daughter, Amanda. Oh my gosh, good luck with that. She's pregnant, labor stopped, on bed rest until the baby comes. We'll be listening on the run today. Okay, good. Um, many positive stay in the oven vibes for your beautiful daughter and your coming grandbaby. All right, five weeks, that's still pretty good. Is she at four weeks now? She's four weeks away from delivery date, official date. So the baby is good. Even if the baby were to come a little bit early now, four or five weeks early, she's gonna be good. She's gonna be fine. That baby send it big, strong, healing, high energy, high vibration. No fear, no worry. Everything is happening in its divine order, in its divine timing. Everything is working out. And Dot wants to come inside. I've been a RV chef, raw vegan chef for about 10 years, was a chef at the Facebook headquarters in the Living Dream Cafe on an amazing superfoods team with two other goddess women. Wow, had to move to the boondocks of Indiana to care for my mom four years ago 
and started a raw vegan lunch program at a large ortho orthopedic company. Oh, Fred, that's so cool. Furloughed a year now, I have a raw vegan food bus. Oh my God. And ran that this summer until my engine died. Oy. Uh, starting January 9th, I have a spot at a local indoor farmer's market on Sunday where, and I will be offering, oh, I can't see the rest of that. I will be offering, wait, I have to go, wait, I have to go to my Facebook uh, on my iPad to read the rest of that. And I need to let my kitty cat in, hold on. Goodness, your paws are cold and wet. <laughs> Dot, is, Dot is in the house. You know what that means. Oh, I need to check and see the rest of this, uh, the rest of this message. Let me just see. I'm so grateful and honored that you are here with us, Julia. This is so cool. What an entrepreneur. Uh, let's see here. Um, Comments. Okay. And we'll be offering my yummies there through the winter. That is so, so freaking cool. You are amazing. What a rock star you are. You're amazing. I am an entrepreneur at heart as well. So I can totally, I can totally, uh, I can totally relate to all of the entrepreneurial ups and downs. You can check out my website and take a screenshot of that as well. Yes, you can check out my website at givethanksraw.com. Best of you on a computer rather than a phone. Love all your valuable info you give. Awesome. Thank you so much, babe. I make amazing raw vegan, simple and gourmet food, but don't have the in-depth knowledge of the medical effects. Love it. Would love to explore a possible future collaboration with you. I would love that. I would totally love that, Julia. I think we would be totally good together. Oh, and by the way, I got a rebounder because of you. Yes. Oh my God. Awesome. And hi, Darren. Is Darren in here as well? I know Darren has been a huge uh, fan and supporter of this channel, of this, of this content. So I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you. Let me just get a a little more bounce. It's so funny. Every time I bounce, almost every time, my left eye waters like that. Dottie. Dottie's back in the house. She goes out every morning, like at around eight o'clock. She loves the snow. She's a little snow kitty. So yeah. So getting the lymphatic system moving and getting it flushed out, flushing out from all around our cells is such an important thing to do for our system because all of the dis-ease that we experience in our body is experienced because we are lymphatically stagnant, interstitially, and for some people that can go really deep, really deep interstitial stagnation where the flow of the lymphatic fluid around all of the cells kind of really comes down to a, a crawl. And when that happens, when that happens, that's when we see end-stage disease like cancer, which is what I've been struggling with and dealing with for the last nine years. No more struggle. Don't struggle anymore now that I know the cause of it. And the cause of all of that interstitial stagnation is chronic acidosis. Yeah, when you are acid, when you're acidic, your kidneys shut down. Kidneys can't function. Your adrenal glands, which sit right on top of the kidneys, they shut down. They can't function. And all of that waste that should be excreted through the kidneys backs up, backs all the way up into right to the top of the head, to the tips of the toes, baby. Yeah, so that's why we do what we do here. That's why every so often we, we push harder and we do a, um, a juice cleanse. Uh, and that is why when we're not doing a juice cleanse, that's why we transition back to beautiful raw vegan chewing food that makes us just sing. I'm telling you, 
when you have really good quality raw vegan food, raw food, food as close to its natural state as possible, you are putting into your body life. If you want more energy, more life in your body, if you want more vibrancy, then you must put vibrant food into your body. Cooking our food, while I have no issue with cooking my food now and then in small quantities and small doses interspaced between lots of raw food and lots of raw food days, um, I have no problem with that. But we need to remember that when we cook our food, we remove the essential life force in the food. Think of it, if you were to cook a potato, you could not plant that in the ground and expect it to spring to life. Whereas even if you put a, a potato that has dried out a little bit, you know, you know, you know how those get, right? And it starts growing those little uh, shoots. You can put that in the ground and it will grow, but you can't, you can't grow a cooked potato, right? It cooks the life force, the enzymatic action right out of the food. Good morning, Cindy. Cindy is here. So glad that you are here, my love. So glad that you are here. How did you sleep? Are you good? It's early over there for you. What time is it now? 7.30. Awesome. So, uh, so that's why every now and then here at The Real Juicy Detox, we do a focused juicing program. And on January the 1st, we are starting 21 days of juicing. Yes, we are. And the focus Focus is on fruits, melons, and berries, because when you want the most amplified uh, and the most accelerated detox that you can get, you want to be right up there. I'm going to show you a, a really cool um, uh, accelerated detox uh, diagram here. Where is it? Oh, it's at the bottom. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on one second. This one right here. Check this out. When you have a, a diet based in fruits, and if you can even do a mono fruit juice cleanse, which is just one thing, like just oranges or just pineapple. I did grapes. A lot of us did grapes in October for the October 40-day um, challenge. That kicked our royal butts, didn't it? That kicked our butts so good. That was a power wash for the inside of the body. But you can see that as long as you're not eating in that lower tier, right, that brown area, if as long as you are eating in that from the green up to the yellow, right, you're always going to be detoxing. It might be a slower detox if you're including in nuts and seeds, but you're still detoxing the body. How freaking cool is that? And the possibilities of what you can consume and what you can enjoy on such a program looks kind of something like, might look like this. Come on, come on. Who doesn't want to eat a bit of food that looks like that? And it tastes freaking amazing. All of these things are raw, by the way. I've got my Bernsey burger in the middle there. I've got my raw vegan pizza on the right. If you guys go check out my Instagram, I've got several of these recipes and I will start using uh, my Instagram to post more of these recipe um, details. Uh, so yeah, this is how we eat. This is this is what raw vegan looks like for me, and for my family. And this is what we do here at the raw the raw the raw vegan the blah, 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 the real juicy detox. Hello, Darren. So glad that you are here, my friend. So glad that you are here. Oh my goodness. So yeah. So that's what we do here. So uh, these. This in between week of from December the 27th from was it Sunday from Sunday until tomorrow Friday we've had five days of deliciousness and what we're doing in those five days of deliciousness is we are giving you guys an opportunity who are new to the to raw eating to slowly start transitioning into this more closer to nature closer to raw uh, uh, food so that when January the 1st comes on Saturday, when is the 1st actually on Saturday? Or any time around there. I mean, some people like Denny was saying yesterday, <clears throat> Denny was saying that uh, he's gonna start a couple of days after because he's got a couple of events to go to. And I'm like, awesome, go have your fun. Go enjoy your events. Don't worry about, oh my gosh, I'm on a, you know, a juicing protocol kind of requires you to have a little bit more 
you know, focused energy around the juicing, whatever, whenever you start, start within the, the first couple of days of January, if you can. Um, but this kind of lead up warm up to our juicing protocol on January the 1st has been really fun. We've been in the Real Juicy Detox kitchen over here, preparing mainly salads, to be honest with you. When you think, oh yeah, uh, I don't, I'm not a rabbit. I can't just eat salad. Dude, you haven't seen my salads. You need to go check it out. Um, salads are, can be amazing. We're not just talking about a, a little bit of lettuce and some carrots here. We're talking about some really beautiful, full flavored, satisfying, delicious salads that you just, but it's not just about salads. Like Jennifer is having the raw, having the pizza tonight. I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm going to make for, for dinner tonight. We've been really digging the salads. I'm not going to lie. Salads for lunch, salads for well, I had a little bit of salad last night before I went to bed. That's right, I did. Good morning, Robin. How are you? So glad to see you here. Good morning, Carlene. Carlene is in the house. How are you doing, my love? It's almost the end of 2020. Almost the end of 2020. Uh, and at the Real Juicy Detox, we don't just talk about detoxing our bodies. We talk about detoxing our minds. And coming more into our spirituality as well. It's kind of like you can't detox the physical body and not expect some sort of evolution to take place on the spiritual side of things. You know, this is just a, this is just a, we're not human. We're not a human physical body. We have one, but we are not one. We are not the body. And it's really hard to remember that when we are oftentimes trapped in the body and really hyper-focused in the body because we have all of these physical experiences going on within the body. You know what I'm saying? So uh, with a physical detox also comes an emotional detox, a, a, a mental detox. We got to be mentally detox all of the, you know, voices in our head that say crazy things that we've heard from people in a white coat with a stethoscope around the neck, you know, things like, you need antibiotics and don't eat fruit because it's going to feed your cancer. Crap like that. We need to detox that out of our minds, right? We need to detox the emotional chatter that just drowns out our inner voice, which is a, a lot softer. You have to pay attention more to hear that inner voice. And we need to detox all of the junk, all of the junky thoughts from around, uh, you know, that's swirling around in our head that we are hearing. And I know sometimes it's been, it's been so loud in my head in the past where it's almost like, I remember once I just said out loud to myself, Oh my God, shut up to my, to that voice. So, you know, we do all of it, baby. Carlene is doing great. Awesome. Awesome, babe. Jennifer says, yeah, I eat mostly uh, salad, pizza, salad. Pizza is a treat. Salads are easy to prep. No thinking ahead. Yeah, right? It's like, okay, what do I have in the fridge? I got some cucumbers. I got some peppers. I have some more Bernsey burgers. Uh, I have some, some lettuce. I have some jicama. I have some uh, sprouts. Let me throw that all together. What's the most amazing salad dressing I can whip up in a minute? And I've been doing those. Yes, I love doing the more elaborate uh, dressings in the blender, but there's nothing more satisfying than putting in a little bit of oil, a little bit of vinegar, some garlic, some mustard, some, uh, some dried herbs, a little bit of maple syrup, shaking that ar around, and then, you know, having the most incredible thing. It's like, oh my God, what, what, why haven't I been doing this the whole entire, my whole entire life, right? Because we get caught up in well, life, life. Karen is in the house. Oh my goodness. Welcome, Karen. How are you? Good morning. Very interested in what you're doing. We'll be starting detox soon. Excellent. Babe, I'm so happy to hear that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So <clears throat> if you're brand new to this and you're like, whoa, okay, I don't know what, I don't know what this all involves, but, but there's something about this that is intriguing. And I, I, I know I want to do a detox. I know I can feel better. She's saying, Burns is saying that, yeah, you can like, I want to, I want to get involved in this, but how, where do I start? What do I eat? 
I've got something for you, especially for you, Karen, and anybody else out here who is, um, you know, who is really interested in doing this, but you're brand new to this and you really don't know where to start. I've got two awesome classes and they are linked in the description. So if you're on Facebook, like you are, Karen, you want to look up in the description after this video. And there are two videos that you can watch. Number one is Detox 101 that goes through what to expect when you're detoxing, what are reasons why you might want to detox and need to detox, who needs to detox and why. Then we go into all of the, and I have these classes, they're, they're so much fun. They're so awesome. These are the slides from Detox 102. Um, so let me show you what the slides look like. So the, they'll look like this, right? So the, I have in Detox 102, I think I have 75 of these slides where we go through all of what to eat now. So Detox 101 talks all about uh, why we detox, what to expect when you're detox, tips for detoxing, things to avoid when you're detoxing. And then Detox 102 talks about what to eat when you're detoxing and why do we eat this way? Why? What is the reason behind eating like this? It's really important because um, first of all, all of the information is coming from Dr. Morse and his book. Uh, let me pull it up. Hold on. This book right here, the miracle, the, the detox miracle source book, and all of the information is uh, is from me becoming a certified detox specialist with Dr. Robert Morse, and a lot of the information that I pull together and pull in during these classes is stuff that I've learned in my certification program that I want to teach you guys because I want you to be, you know, unofficially certified detox specialist for your own self so that you can understand what you're doing and why. Because I believe that when you understand what you're doing and why, as you are experiencing it and as you are doing it in your body, then it's going to be something that sticks. You know, I don't know about you, Karen, but my entire life for 55 years, I've been uh, off and on so many different diets and programs for my weight that I never really understood what the weight issue even was. I didn't understand. I didn't know that it was my body's response to acidosis and to the toxic food that I was eating. <clears throat> I approached it from a very approach the symptom issue, right? I approached my weight from the I'm fat, so I need to calorie restrict, as opposed to saying I have inflammation in my body and let me address the cause of that inflammation so that my body doesn't need to inflame itself anymore. You see, inflammation is just your body's way to protect itself from the acidosis that we've been putting in, the acidosis that we have not gotten out, and the weak tissue, the weak systems and organs that we came with when we came from our parents. We you can only bake a cake as good as the ingredients that you have, you know what I'm saying? So when our parents had compromised physical conditions, we genetically inherit that. So this is a way that I have found that completely addresses not just the weight issue, and I have dropped 30, 25 pounds, 25, 30, depends on the day, um, but I've dropped 25 pounds consistently without any struggle, without any calorie restriction, without any, oh my gosh, I can't have that because it's going to make me fat. No, I've been like, I'm choosing not to have that food because it's acidic and I don't want the acid hit on my body. I don't want the inflammation. I don't want the end stage disease to be an issue anymore. I want to remove all of the factors which have caused my body to create or to damage or for my cells to die. That's all that cancer is, baby. So in addition to those two videos that you can check out, Detox 101 and Detox 102, those are there as master classes for you to sit down and go through and understand and learn about these different aspects of the detox so that, you know, so that I don't have to, it's, it's kind of hard. Each of those classes are like two and a half hours, three hours long, uh, but those are master classes that you can go back and refer to so that you can go into this process with confidence. That's what I want you guys to have. I want you to go through it with confidence and we're going to do it together in this community because what we know for sure and what we have proven here in the last 73 days that we've been doing this all together, 
I've been doing this for 212 days, but 73 days ago, I started this 40 day uh, juice detox to amplify my detox again, push on, push on the gas every now and then, then pull back from the gas and take the country road with the raw vegan eating food, right? Um, uh, doing this has really proven to be so successful for so many people doing it in community, S not thinking that you're struggling with this on your own. When you do have certain things come up, you come to class, you come to class as much as you can. And I have class here three times a day, completely free. There's nothing to join. There's no membership to pay. This is completely a free service that I am putting out here into the universe for you to experience so that you can amplify your life so that you can heal the body. Karen says, thank you. We'll check it out. Definitely check it out, babe. It's here for you. It's a beautiful uh, series. I dropped 98 pounds when I started a raw vegan lifestyle. Wow. Where's my bell? Ding, 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 ding. That is amazing. 98 pounds. Life-changing, right? life-changing, completely life-changing. Amazing. Amazing. And those 98 pounds were, were just in, was just inflammation in the body. When you stop putting in the acid slurry that we call food, meat, dairy, eggs, all the grains, including oatmeal, rice, when you remove the beans, when you remove the processed uh, sugars, right, all the complex carbohydrates, when you remove all the soy, when you remove all the toxins from the food that you are putting in, that's your main source of chemistry for your body. And we are chemical processing plants. So when you put in certain chemistry in your body, then we shouldn't be surprised that it has a certain chemical residue and effect in the body. So changing around the chemistry that we are putting in the body is going to immediately start changing what happens in the body because of that. The inflammation, 98 pounds, that's a lot of inflammation in the body. 98 pounds easily, it might take a while. How long did it take you to lose the 98 pounds? Might take a while, but it will easily, quickly, for a lot of people, but very easily, slow, sometimes slowly, be eliminated from the body without any struggle, without any extreme measures. Some people might think burns, eating raw is extreme. No, eating cooked dead flesh that is not actually food, that is extreme. This is natural. <laughs> this is easy. This is delicious. This is healthier for us. This is the actual food that the creator um, designed for us to utilize in the body. This is not extreme. Eating dead, decaying flesh, that is extreme. And calling it food, that's extreme. That's extreme. Mm. I've, let, I've, I've let off the gas personally over the past year. Well, this has been an, an incredible year, right? It's been an incredible year. And we turn to food... When we want to comfort ourselves, we turn to, you know, those things that, those comfort foods. And a lot of times, you know, you're only human, babe. You're only human. It's all good. And turning the gas back on for an ultimate healthy 2021. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody slips and falls. We all do. The important thing is that when we slip and fall, that we surround ourselves with a community in our personal life, it's one thing to be a professional in this industry and experience the things that we experience, you know. It's a whole other thing to come to our own personal work and grow uh, in this manner in a personal way, you know. And to be able to come and do that here where you're just Julia. You're not Julia of, you know, whatever that it is that you're doing in the moment. You're just Julia. Coming to this for me as Jess Burns, although I come in a little bit of a different capacity because welcome to the Real Juicy Detox. I'm your certified detox specialist, right? Which is cool. I'm totally fine with that. This is the role that I am in right now. I'm totally fine with that. But what I, my point is, is that coming together and doing this within community and with other people in such a loving community, you're not going to find the kind of support, I believe, that we have going on here in such a real and tangible way, like real time, 
where else can you come and pop up your comments and be supported by each other and for other people to be cheering you on as you're doing this by the way you you guys might want to check out our facebook group the real juicy detox i think we're up to was it 260 or 280 members in there now which is not like no big deal i know some groups have like tens of thousands of people in there but this is a close-knit group of 280 some people already and we are growing and we are experiencing and we're supporting each other people in that group the group is running itself you guys are running that group and i'm so grateful for you because i i i'm really not um driving the momentum of that group you guys are doing that you're posting your recipes you're posting your meals that you have made you're posting your your uh your positive memes and your positive inspiration your your it's just amazing i'm just blown away so um this group this these classes three times a day the the group before and after class in the group you're gonna do it with us baby absolutely almost eight months it took you to lose those 98 pounds I've put some back on over the past eight years due to life, but getting back on track, you're in the right place, baby. Even for a raw vegan chef that makes raw vegan foods daily, old habits creep back in. Yeah, baby, it's called life and it's okay. We are not this human body. We're not this physical body. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience in this vehicle. And now that you are ready to go and ready to improve the vehicle a little bit more like a lot of us are you're in the right place you're in the right place it's it's all good it is all good it is all good it is all good so welcome everybody if you're brand new welcome to the real juicy detox welcome to the new version of you that is waiting to emerge um, and that goes for all of us even those of us who've been doing this for 212 days or even longer we can all uh refocus and just keep the momentum going it's not that you're, you're you may not necessarily be unfocused at all it just may be that you need that you know step on the gas a little bit more to continue the momentum to continue the momentum it's okay if you lose a little bit of momentum the good thing is is that you remember really quickly and your body remembers really quickly and then you start doing it again putting this focus back on you because at the end of the day this physical body this physical vehicle needs a little tune up every now and then so that you can move through 2021 in the strongest version of you physically that you can and by doing that you're also going to be developing the strongest emotional mental and spiritual version of yourself so welcome to the real juicy detox I hope you guys stick around. It is the day before New Year's Eve. That's right. We are closing out 2020 with positivity, with understanding what it is we have been experiencing and why, right? The dismantling of old systems that no longer serve us in the world, the dismantling of the old physical condition that no longer serves us in our bodies through the raw detox. We're keeping the vibration high. We're keeping the vibration light. We are keeping the vibration positive. We are standing in our light. We are standing in our truth. And we are celebrating the incredible life experience that we agreed to come here and experience right here this year in 2020. You, believe it or not, signed up for this as part of your soul contract that you will come here on this physical plane in this three-dimensional reality and you will experience life in 2020 as the old forces get dismantled and you are part of that you are part of that you are part of that by doing exactly what we are doing here yes emoji king is in the house good morning my friend how are you yeah baby we're talking about our light bodies rainbow bodies this is a conductivity diet when we are putting in flooding our bodies with this beautiful life force i'm telling you <laughs> this conducts more life into our body, right? This is what we need to do to tap back into our healing, to tap back into our purity, to tap back into our divine consciousness. We need to consume and eat divine food, and that is living food. So welcome aboard. Eat logically for your anatomy. Yes, indeed. 
I love you all. Follow me along on uh, the Real Juicy Detox on Instagram and on Burns Bedard, like you see my name right here on the Facebook, if you want to check me out on Facebook. Um, and drink up, eat up, eat some beautiful raw vegan food, fill your body with love and with light. Yes, eat logically for your anatomy, not for your emotions, exactly. Although that is really hard to do sometimes because, you know, because, but when you eat this kind of food, you're right. You're eating, you, you, you're eating for your emotions, your, your good emotions when you eat and drink beautiful live food. So uh, you guys stay well, come with me, follow me along on my shopping to the Chinese uh, uh, grocery store supermarket up in Kitchener. I hope the roads are okay. It's a bit snowy outside. Dali went to do his shoveling contract job again today and um i'm gonna go get some jicama you coming with me come with me let's go i'll see you guys soon Mwah. i love you all